Hello, my name is Anderson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnhere.com on how to understand the security aspects and the, and the roles and permissions that uh, comes together with, uh, with a .NET Nuke website. Um, so let's log in to the website as admin so we can explore a little bit the menu under admin called security roles. So basically uh, standard DNN uh, deployment comes with a role called administrators, a role called registered users and another one called subscribers. So those are the three default roles that comes with uh, an installation. And just to explain a little bit more about uh, the, the options that we have uh, under roles, a role can be public and can be auto. Public means that people can uh, subscribe to that role directly without our without admin's intervention, and auto means that uh, every time that someone registers to the website, that role will be automatically assigned to a new user. So as you can see, registered user is not a public role, but it's an automatic role. So everybody that uh, registers to the website will get that role and subscribers as well, but subscribers is automatically and it's also public so people can subscribe and unsubscribe to that role now so those are the the roles the standard roles you can create more roles you can add new a new role to our dotnet look site and we can again specify if we want it to be public and auto assigned it i'll leave those unchecked for now so uh here's what we're gonna do we're gonna see how a role impacts in the visibility of a page. Let's create a new page here just for our own testing. So uh, when we create a new page under permissions, we can say who has access to that page and who should not have. So let's say that uh, this new page, I want all users to have access. So I can just check where it says view page, all users. And of course I will not check edit page because otherwise all users would have edit access to this page. So if I if I check this and I click update, the new test page will be placed in the menu. Let's just reposition after the home page. So regardless if I'm logging in or, or not, if I log out, test page will be there because I said that uh, all users should have access. But if I go back to the permissions of this page, I can say that Again, I click on the page, go to settings. I can say that only registered users will have access to this page. By doing so, I'm a registered user, I'm logged in as admin, but once I log out, the page will no longer be there. Now, let's go back and try something else. I'm, I'm going back to the settings. Now, let's say that I want that only unauthenticated users should have access to this page. For one reason or another, I don't want people, once they log in, I don't want them to see this page anymore. So just to make, to make it simple, I will call this unauthenticated users page. And what I'm gonna do now is, I'm going to say that authentic, unauthenticated users should have access, but I'm also going to say that registered users should not have access. So by doing so, I'm telling that once someone logs into the site, this page should no longer be in the menu. So let's click on update because I'm admin. I can still see the page, but let's log out. So I'm logged out. I can see the page because I said that I wanted unauthenticated users to see it. But once I log in, now I have to create a user so I can... Uh, login a user that is different from admin because admin can see everything i'm just registering as a brand new user so let's register as a new user so as you can see i have registered as a new user i'm automatically logged in and now i can no longer see the menu so this is just to explain that uh what used to happen with uh .NET nook 4 is that you could either have access or you could not have access, but you could only aggregate access to your set of permissions. You could not revoke access. You could only add 
to your credentials. You could not revoke, but in, in .NET Took 5, what you can actually do now is you can say, I want people, uh, unauthorized people to have access, but if you are already authorized, you should no longer have access to the page, which again expands the, the permission capabilities of your .NET Took website. Let's log out and let's log back as admin to explore a couple more aspects of permissions. I'm going to go back to our page. I'm going to go back to settings. Let me call this test again. And now I'm going to open access to everybody. So I'm just going to keep those unchecked. And I'm going to say all users should have access. Let's update. Now all kinds of users will have access. Here's what I'm going to do now. The same type of access that uh, you have in a page level, that's what we did now. We also have available in a module level as well. So here in the test page, I'm just going to change this content. Save the content. So I can go to the module settings of this, of this particular module added to this page and see the permission that were given to this to this module. See, this checkbox says that inherit view permissions from the page. So uh, the same uh, permission that was set to the test page are applied to this module. I can uncheck this and I can say that uh, only registered users should have access to, to see the content. When I do that and I click update, I'm a registered user, I can see it, but if I log out and if I go to the test space, the content will, is no longer there. I'm going to log back in. If I go there again to the settings, I can say that not registered user, but only users under the new role will have access. Click update, go log out. The content is no longer there because only users under the new role will have access. If I try to log in as the user that I just created, I can not see the content because the new role is not automatically assigned to the new user. I will have to assign the, that role to that user so they can have access to see the content of that module. So let's log out. Let's log back in as admin. So what I can do now is give access to the new user to that role. So I can go edit manage roles for this user. I can add the new role to this user. Not going to send a notification. New role is there. I can, I can log out log back in because now I have the access that I need to see that content. Okay. This is just because we were in a page that a regular user would not have access. If I click test, so the content is here. I can see because now I granted access to that role. I grant the user Ederson uh, the role, new role. So now, the, now that user can see the text that I have uh, I have set as only neural users would be able to see it. So this was basically a quick overview of how permissions and users they work in a, a .NET Network website. So you can give access to pages, give access to modules, restrict access to pages, and restrict access to modules in a page. Okay. Thank you very much.